Great fun, and when the atmosphere of the drums, the drumming groups, and the fires going on, and everybody in their costumes, and the parade through the through the streets, it's just fabulous. Most of the people in the Bombay Society are local people, born here, you know. So it's it's a tradition. It's the atmosphere right though. I think, you know, the spectacle of the bonfire is just the end of the finale. But the parade through Rye, literally back to back through Rye, the, the atmosphere is like walking into a church. It, it gets in your skin, you know. You might have a problem with it, yes. People are getting torched it. They're getting up towards their ages. <laughs> We've got a core group of, of people that have been doing it for for many years. Um, we're really trying to encourage younger people to come forward and to, to join us because we're all getting a little bit creepy around the edges. And we all know our jobs, we've been doing it for quite some time now, so we all sort of dovetail and slot into where we need to be. Just love burning things. <laughs> I love for Rye, simple as that. I was born in Rye, well, I was brought up in Rye, went to school in Rye. Um, my partner, we met in Rye, um, everything, to be honest. Rye Bonfire is very special, the atmosphere, I don't know, it, it's, in, it's in my blood. I, I, enjoy, I enjoy the atmosphere of it, it's kind of a little bit rebellious, a little bit pagan, all that kind of stuff going on. I mean, I always say to people, where do you get to burn a boat like that? And some come in, ooh, that's the react, that's the react, you know, and explain to them what they're happening. Oh, didn't realise that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, they, they used to, well, I mean, in my younger days, Going back a while now, but in my younger days, I mean, Rye, there the, 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 the used to be 22 floats in the procession. Right, yeah, we've only got this year, we've got one. They came on a Friday to build the bonfire and then they go up to town lunchtime and don't come back. So they end up in the pub. Yeah, up in the pub. So we said, it'd be nice if they had a caravan or something on site that could have eat, you know, come to, to eat, something to drink. Oh my lord. In the past, people have thought that the council paid for the fireworks and, you know, we, we did just put the bonfire, just put a bonfire in the middle of a field and that was it. It costs over £10,000 a year to, to run it, um, with the fireworks, the insurance and all the rest of the, the bits and pieces that needs to go in. Um, so there's a lot of fundraising. In the past everything would have been um, a lot more volunteered. Now, less of us, but a lot, lot more work. I'll be out on the street. So I'll get your money out. <laughs> right. Come and join us. We, we, need, we need to keep it going. Put your money in your bucket, buy a programme. That tells you everything about us in there as well. And join if you want to join. <laughs>